Welcome everyone to our Universal Laws meditation series. Every month we dive into one universal principle and we look into the essence of what this principle is about and we allow ourselves to dive into the realm, the state of consciousness to work with this particular law and how it can really serve us. We know that the universal laws known as the universal principles are also something that even advanced intergalactic civilizations throughout the multiverse observe and obey, actually. It is known um, throughout the multiverse. So living in harmony with the universal principle also help you on your journey uh, to go through situation, changes, spiritual growth, activations, resolution, communication, and so much more. So this very unique and completely free series is available at any time. And you can also go back to the other Universal Laws meditations. And today we're going to dive into part number nine of the series of 12 already. I want to take the time to say hello to everyone who's taking the time to join us live uh, from literally all over the world regardless of the time zone, whether it's really early in the morning or late at night. It's really a joy to see all of you. I want to welcome our wonderful Patreon members. We know that we have an amazing cream, cream of the crop, so to speak, community with members who are so dedicated to their um, spiritual journey, their ascension, the community energies behind it is I want to welcome all of you and I'm very very grateful for all of you and really wonderful to see some of us some of you joining us for the first time or you're returning to us it is a joy absolutely a joy to have you here tonight so the universal law serious meditation is already are already ready on my youtube channel you can go back to my youtube channel and watch part one to eight or any part of the universal law series Let's say you want to go back into the previous one, like last month, the law of transmutation of energies. Well, you can go back to it and watch again what this the law of perpetual transmutation of energy is about, uh, or the law of oneness. And so you can always do that. It's a, it's a gift from us, from my Octarine Collective and I, to really supporting you in terms of connecting and supporting our spiritual growth and especially in the time of changes I know there's a lot on the planet going on and so these really wonderful series again completely free and accessible 24 7 it really is supporting us to remember that we are cosmic citizen and there's ways to live in harmony with these universal principle so E, thank you so much for posting under my direct link to my YouTube channel. It's right there. Thank you so much. I'm grateful for this. And just go check it out. And we have also other meditations. Deep breath, everyone. You are here. And it is amazing to see you again. Welcome. And those who will be joining us watching the live feed, the, the replay and the live feed, you are always appreciate in our space. So once again, thank you. The law of relat relativity, number nine. What is this about? So let's dive into this. How can we learn about this? How can we apply this universal law, part number nine out of 12, going to 12 universal principles? And so the law of relativity it's basically state that nothing has a connotation of good or bad, light or dark, is everything is a spectrum of expression. And there's more than one perspective on any situation or challenge. Now, I like that statement. I will repeat it again. Everything is a spectrum of expression. And there's more than one perspective to or on any situation or challenges that we sometimes face. And I like that because it brings us opportunity to be able to online detach and looking at a different perspective of what has been going on. And I myself, sometimes being of service to so many beautiful people worldwide, 
sometimes I get into a challenge or, you know, I will get a, a message, an email that may challenge me or feel like it is hurtful at the heart level. And, and I just went through that most recently. It allows me to look at what spectrum of expression what was really happening and being able to look at the situation from a multiple angles instead of staying stuck in one emotion. That is huge right there, uh, looking at a situation from multiple spectrum of light, uh, like a beautiful prism of light. When you look at a different aspect, you are able to understand it from different multiple perspectives instead of looking at just from one perspective and be stuck in that energy. And I would say that one, let's say it's a situation with someone and the other recipient is stuck in one perspective, well, it's even more important for you to disengage and being able to hold a multitude of perspective. So in other words, this law is teaching us that we are the ones who assign meaning to things, uh, like somebody sending me a thoughtful or a, a very positive compliment versus a hurtful message. It's how I want to assign meaning do I allow it to really hit me? Do I allow it to have more significant than it needs to be? So it gives everyone perspective. And so we can choose to be able to label or understand what is the situation is about, or alternatively being able to happening so we can turn things around and learn and extract a lesson from it. And personally, that's what I did. I step back, I choose to respond from the heart and from the heart I receive a tomato instead and I said okay I choose a heart the other person chose a tomato it's just a figure of speech but ultimately is allowing to understand a valuable lessons so the law of relativity is allowing us to go through series of life situations challenges events while remaining connected to our hearts that is really, really important. We stay in your heart as opposed to engaging into the control of the logic mind. Stay in the heart. This law truly teaches us to compare situations with other situations that we may have a frame of reference for. So no matter how challenging something or a situation is happening right now in your life or has been happening, know that deep down is always always something more that can come through and shift the energy around it's about shifting the frequencies shifting vibrational approach to it so what i love about part nine of the universal laws is that it really reminds us that in this lifetime we truly have opportunity to resolve what seems to be obstacle what the lot calls it test of initiation. Isn't that interesting? I've learned that from studying this law, number nine, the law of relativity, that in reality, all of those opportunities are known as test of initiation. So when this law connects us well with the teachings of, remind me of the master, Master Serapis Bey, who is the Lord and the master of this beautiful etheric retreat right above Egypt. And Master Serapis Bay is the school of learning, it's the great initiation for ascension. So I really like how this universal principle that we're studying right now is connecting very tightly to this ascended master. And we know that Master Serapis Bay when souls go to his etheric retreat, it's about those learning those tests of initiation, going through great initiation, acquiring self-discipline. Oh, I, when I said that, I just saw an orb of royal blue light. It's about working with the 12 virtues of ascension. It's about communing with the ascension flame that was brought forth by the master himself from Atlantis in the Golden Age, or at the end of the Golden Age of Atlantis, and to Egypt, and then eventually move on to his etheric retreat. And you may say, Vivian, what is an etheric retreat? Think of it as a 
like a temple or a domain that coexists in the etheric field. This is not 3D, it's not physical, it's in the etheric field. And these temple or these places you can go to at a soul level to learn, whether it's to replenish, learn, study, acquire wisdom. So it's very interesting that the energy of this master came when I was looking at this universal law. Truly, it is all about spiritual path, the experiences where we need to learn. Remember that souls come into the 3D physical world to understand how to acquire more light, move through life lessons with love, compassion, and understanding from a completely different angles. So this universal law, number nine, is really much in tune with also what the souls come here to learn. So therefore, it says that our responses or resistance will determine whether we have learned or mastered what the soul needs to learn and to know. Is that interesting? I love that. Whether you are, have learned or mastered the lesson that your soul want to learn and acquire more light and knowledge from. So this is a really powerful law. Well, they're all very powerful, of course. But this one, you can tell it is so apropos with what we are experiencing right now and shifting more and more moving forward, even six, eight months or a year from now. So I will go and encourage you to really dive yourself into understanding the spirit, the essence of this law. It really explained that ultimately all things are known through the relationship to the mind. And then the mind controls how we feel, what we believe, how we behave, how we respond or react. What are we attaching ourselves to? So it is really amazing to be able to feel and see how much energy and mastery there is behind this one universal principle. Now imagine understanding all 12 of them. I call them the 12 sacred keys. This is how I call them. But tonight, today, tomorrow, and anytime you need to, this meditation is about reviewing the essence of law number nine. And now, let's meditate. Let's open the sacred realm. Let's dive into the essence of what the universal law of relativity is truly about. Are you ready? Yes. Take a deep breath. Release. Excellent. You already feel the energy yeah, for what we have conveyed, that you have a better understanding of the essence of what this law is about. Let's go. Absolutely. I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. It's wonderful. Alrighty, so make yourself comfortable. What does it mean is that you are welcome to sit down, feet on the ground, or you can also lay down. Whichever aspect you choose, it is completely up to you. Whether you fall asleep or not, it is of no concern. We know that you're ultimately receiving exactly what you need the most. So let's get you into position. Excellent. So thank you for closing your eyes. And let's take a moment just to be in that sacred space. It is a moment just to feel the movement of your lungs, bringing in oxygen, feeding the bloodstream, allowing your inner chi, uh, your inner prana, to move as opposed to let your chi be stagnant. We want to, like a river, let everything flow peacefully. So let's just breathe consciously, which means allowing yourself to be fully present in the nucleus of the now, as we are opening sacred space together. I'm going to start to unwind from the energies of the day, schedule 3D energies, disengaging from the collective consciousness 
and releasing other people's energies, projection, insecurity, fear, emotion, and thought forms. Just by the sacred art of conscious breathing. Perfect. Yes, let everything flow. Imagine your breath flowing freely throughout your entire body, all the way down to your feet. And to your feet, imagine opening the energetic grids of your feet, also connecting all of the ley lines, points of your body. Perfect. And through the grids of your feet, we're going to expand the ley lines in the form of roots to connect also to the core of Mother Gaia, Mother Terra, connecting to the core of the planet, this wonderful celestial being that we call Mother Gaia. Feeling grounded, allowing also the opening of your earth star chakra, which is below your root chakra. Your earth star chakra create a stronger foundation. Allowing you to feel connected, nurtured, nourished, supported, guided, and completely protected. We're going to take several deep breaths through your earth star chakra below your root, through the grits of your feet, expanding the roots into the core of the earth, Mother Gaia. And let's reestablish your foundation. It's like allowing your inner tree of knowledge to feel deeply rooted and yet very connected to all there is. I'm going to take several deep breaths here to establish your foundation. As your foundation is solid, fluid, continue to connect to Gaia. We now invite you to bring your attention, your breath, back to your heart center. Imagine or feel opening the energetic gateway of your heart center with each breath that you take. opening your sacred, the sacred gateway of your heart, this beautiful Taurus field, to breathe in the light, and to feel that your body, your mind, your heart, and your solo bodies of light just breathe freely with more light. This is where we are clearing out of your field everything that you may have absorbed from others, including loved ones, friends, neighbors, and any other sources, known and unknown. You want to create a feeling, an experience of complete energetic freedom. Let's keep breathing peacefully, expanding to your heart center, creating this experience of energetic freedom, expansion, and yet being connected and supported. Mm -hmm. 
And as you keep breathing peacefully, allow your mind to be present in the process. Assign your mind a task. Tell your mind, mind, you are the guardian of my breath. So keep watching my breath going deeper and slower throughout my entire body. And if your mind wanders off with thoughts and distractions, bring it back to your sacred space and ask the mind to keep watching. So let's continue to expand into energetic freedom and gentle expression of the soul and expansion as well. Take and now imagine or feel a ball, a sphere of pure energy right above your crown chakra. We're going to bring what's called a blast of pure energy. Imagine this sphere of pure energy. It is opalescent light, which reflect the crystalline aspect of the rainbow light. Coming through into your body and completely clearing your auric field, clearing your mind and your subconscious mind any residuals. Imagine and feel this sphere of pure light just bringing purification into your body template all the way down to your roots. And gently balancing all of your chakra system in gentle alignment. This sphere of opalescent light reflecting the crystalline aspect of the rainbow spectrum. It's helping to shift and elevate your frequencies and stabilize your vibrational field. We are simply attuning ourselves to connect to the universal law, to the realm of the universal laws. And now imagine or feel a rainbow, a crystalline rainbow bridge connecting your reality to the realm of the universal laws. To see and feel yourself joyfully crossing this crystalline rainbow light bridge. Allow yourself to completely step outside of the 3D linear time and matrix. You may feel within you a frequency shift as well in consciousness. Allow yourself to transcend behind the 3D reality and moving into a fifth dimensional space and even beyond. So take the time to feel the energy and the invitation of this crystalline rainbow light bridge. Now 
And as you're allowing an elevation of your thought, your heart, in all aspect of you being vibrating in the higher state, we invite you to see and feel now that you have entered the sacred realm of the universal laws. You may perceive the spirit or the essence of the other laws, but today we invite the universal law of relativity to come and connect to you and with you now. And we ask the universal law, this sacred principle, to help to release and clear your mind of any negative thought patterns, distorted energies, fogginess, confusion, and any form of mental entanglement. So let's just stay here for a moment in the presence of the ninth law of the universe. supporting you, clearing your mind completely, along with the release of the control of your lower mind. Imagine a window opening in your mental field, releasing any form of stored energies, known and unknown, fogginess, confusion, distortion, releasing patterns, and anything that is misaligned with your divine light. And remember to breathe deeply and slowly with joy and divine presence. And to feel this complete reset of the mental field, opening the gateway to your higher mental faculties, your higher mind, clearing also the neural pathways, refreshing your cognitive faculties, the brain synapses, the brain connectors, 
and the sacred balance between the brain and hemispheres. And receive also the following affirmation. I ask now this universal principle to bring, to bring clarity to my mind and opens the pathway to my higher mind. I ask the universal principle of relativity to support the pathway between my higher mind and my heart center. Show me the way to live my life completely connected at all times between my higher mind and my heart center. And as you're allowing your sacred breath to flow like the universal life force energy, allow the universal law to show you, to show you higher guidance, to clear the pathway, to illuminate your path on your journey. And we invite you now to see and feel waves of positive energies, positive forces of light in motion coming into your journey and to feel truly how much you are being guided, supported and there's always assistance and guidance available to you at any time. Feel the manifestation of your desires, your heart energies, your passions, to feel that more and more it is becoming easier for you to co-manifest higher and positive outcomes in your life and all dimensions of your life. Imagine the sacred crystalline rainbow light spectrum also enhancing your chakra system, your sacred internal solar energy vortexes of light. The crystalline rainbow light spectrum also increases the luminosity of your solo bodies of light, creating a new energetic system, allowing you to hold higher frequencies, including that of the solar energies, solar consciousness, the galactic core, and all the new frequencies coming through Mother Gaia's grits. 
Let's take a moment to breathe into this crystalline light spectrum energy enhancing all of your internal system, including your sacred gateways of light to your nervous systems. And just keep it reading peacefully, allowing everything to flow. And now see and feel all the life lessons learned, extracting the sacred wisdom and knowledge. And ask the universal law of relativity to assist you achieving, achieving the mastery of all lessons of spiritual growth. You can ask this universal principle, I am now ready to embrace and embody the mastery path. To learn and integrate all of the life lessons for my spiritual growth and my enlightenment. I just keep it reading, holding sacred space as we are within the realm of the universal principles.
And now you may also ask the universal law of relativity to show you the perspective of perhaps on a situation, an event, your spiritual journey, or even looking at a different perspective of what ascension is about, opening up your field of perception, allowing your third eye to open, to become a clearer visionary, enhancing your intuition, connecting to your third eye, giving you the ability to perceive any form of realities in a multitude of perspective. This is what we call stepping into a multidimensional point. And the universal principle of relativity can assist you with mastery of this unique faculty to see and feel the energy moving through your third eye, opening also, strengthening your core light of your solar plexus, a center of willpower and empowerment. Allowing to work in concert with your higher mind to understand, perceive, and envision from a multitude of perspectives. allowing you to gain momentum, wisdom, and self-mastery. And as you keep breathing deeply and slowly, Allow yourself to free your energy, free yourself of any judgment. To free yourself from comparing yourself with others. To show you the way to responding to life lessons with mastery. In embracing your unique soul design. And as you're allowing everything to flow with divine grace and divine presence, we invite you, we invite your heart to connect to the spirit of this universal law. To see and feel this heart connection to the spirit of the universal law of relativity.
and as you keep reading to your heart connecting to the spirit of this beautiful law read into your own your own energetic freedom feel your heart expanding without boundaries Imagine your heart energetic field expanding, becoming one, one with the universe, one with the boundless ocean of pure energy and consciousness, helping you to remind yourself that you are limitless, ageless, infinite. And the invitation for you is to live and lead your life as a divine being of light and a soul experiencing physicality and humanity. Just take a moment to breathe into this most fundamental truth this divine remembrance going deep into every cell of your body opening all of your senses your clairs to feel the expansion of your chakra system and their multi-dimensional points And as you breathe into this expansion, you receive the following affirmation. I harmonize my thoughts and my emotional responses as I choose a higher vibrational state of mind, connecting to my heart as I choose as well a higher vibrational way of living. I ask my higher self to gently guide me to the lessons and the light for my self-mastery. I am ready now to set myself free of any mental constrictions, limitations that is part of the 3D matrix reality. I learn to navigate through life in parallel to the 3D matrix reality. I become a master at navigating through higher form of realities. I gain more mastery in all dimensions of my life in my divine expression. I choose to feel this fifth dimensional frequency elevation in my being and I become a co-creator to support the new earth in the next harmonic universe. Let's take a moment in the sacred space to truly receiving the teaching, the knowledge, and the guidance of the universal law of relativity. We also ask the beloved Ascendant Master Serapis Bay to supporting all of us in that great initiation 
on the path of enlightenment in your soul evolution. And as we send our love and gratitude to this universal principle and the spirit of all of the universal principles of this realm, we invite you now to see and feel yourself walking back through the crystalline rainbow light spectrum bridge. It is a time now to start to reintegrate the earth plane we invite you to gently see your yourself traveling onto the sacred crystalline rainbow light bridge as you are also deeply integrating your experience with the universal law. The crystalline rainbow light bridge allows you to keep and maintain a higher vibrational integrity as you are consciously now gently returning into your space, back to your room, and to see and feel that you are integrating into your body in full consciousness, completely aligned, present, and refreshed. And now let's take a deep breath in and release. One more time, a deep breath in and release. Take the time to feel your roots connecting, feeling your sacred presence in your body, feeling your heart, being aware of your surroundings and now gently opening your eyes and as you are gently opening your eyes we invite you to take the time to really reharmonize yourself to feel present here and now and to allow yourself a more gentle state of integration as uh, all that we do especially our meditations they are highly experiential and multidimensional in nature so it's very important to really take the time without hasting yourself to get up or disconnect from the crowd cast. Let's stay here for a moment. Let's take the time to breathe, to feel that all aspect of you has returned. And if you watch the replay and you're going to, going to bed at night, take the time to really shift into this peaceful transition. And if you start your day Take the time to stretch, take several deep breaths, drink water, make sure you stay hydrated, including the electrolytes of your body and the essential minerals. As we connect more and start to rediscovering the true meaning of those universal principles, we start to understand that we have greater tools to navigate through this physicality and the transcendence the transcending of a multitude of realities. We're becoming much more master at time 
and be more in tune with universal time. Many of us have been feeling the change in our body, including the hormonal system. That's partially because we are shifting out of the 3D linear time and realigning ourselves more organically to universal time. Now that speaks volume, is it not? I want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of your spiritual journey and to allow us to be part also of your spiritual and soul evolution. It is a joy and a privilege as always to be of service to so many. On behalf of my Octorian delegations, myself and the universe, we send you our love and our infinite blessings. We will see you next time for the Universal Law Part 10 of our beautiful meditation series. Great love to all of you indeed. Namaste everyone and stay in your light.